Oh wait, it's you guys again. Ah, by the way, it's your boy Falcon who's back with another episode of Artist Circle from Art Brazil. We're gonna be tuning into the world of the artist today. Yes, sir. Follow me. I'm about to show you this amazing artist who's gonna interview today. <laughs> This is my artist circle. The artist circle. What is it? Shab, first fucking question. Where are you originally from, bro? Um, I'm originally from Pretoria, Pretoria Glen Soweto. That's where I grew up. That's where most of my childhood is, is from. That's where most of my memories from anything comes from. I was born in I was born in Lenmith, I think my mom keeps saying. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and not to throw away your age, during what time were you born? I don't mind, man. Um, I was born. I was born in 1995, um, 30 November. No, I don't know a lot of people born in November 30th, but um, that's when I was born. Yeah. Yeah. And when did you start um, loving art and? When was your introduction into loving art? Mm. I have, I have a, I have a couple of stories for that. You know, I have, um, it's, it's many things. You know, like it's, I, I have, I don't know which one is it between these stories I'm about to tell. Yeah. But the first quick one is, you know, putting your, 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 your hands on paper with paint on it, and then you kind of realizing that you just made an artwork from just finger finger painting or, or i don't know what it's called but when you put your 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 you paint your hands and you put it on paper and then that is a reveal that's one of them um there's a there's a moment where my uncle my, my, my uncle used to pick me up um well that's not the story my mom aunt used to pick me up and go to orlando west with me um and then my uncle was a painter Actually, yeah. well, I'll show you guys some artwork of his. It's actually over there. Um, yeah, and he was a, a painter, man. Like he's like like really into this. Like there's nothing else he does. He mm. drinks and he paints. <laughs> yeah. So my my aunt would take me to to him because she saw I had a I had a, like a, a strong draw to to this. I grew up around artwork around me. My mom used to collect so much of my grandfather's artwork and he would put them put them around. Um, the house so I always knew that my grandfather was a painter but I never went but then my aunt took me and from time to time you know while he's painting and he would paint at a tavern sometimes yeah. and he would just throw throw like a, a, a piece of paper at me be like okay you do your thing um, he'd give me some brushes and go like you do your thing so mm. that's when it really started connecting to me like oh I'm now doing what he does I'm now mixing colors like he's mixing colors I'm now mixing um, blue and red and yeah. purple is coming up. It's like now, now my mind is, you know, mind is going at that point. So these are the early memories where I remember the draw for me. That's like, man, I really love this. I don't think I can, I really want to do this. I would really want to continue. Um, that's the short of it. Yeah. Yeah. So would you say he was the, your first inspiration into wanting to do art? As far as I can track, that would be fair to say. Yeah. I don't know what other things I was looking at, like subconsciously, but as a notable thing that I remember is him and his work around the house. Mm. Yeah. And um, what shows did you grow up watching? Because I know um, a lot of us get inspiration from what we watch ooh. as kids. Um, oh yeah, that's a really good one. Mm. 
the things I really used to enjoy artistically was probably Super Strikers. But it's not what I was, I was more comics, right? Yeah. I was probably more comics than watching. Um, and it's interesting because, you know, I, 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 I really enjoy cartoons. So Super Strikers was comic in terms of comics. That's what, I, what that was the thing that I used to just like enjoy quite yeah. a bit at a young age. But um, even younger than that was probably, you know, DBZ, bro. Um, Obvious. <laughs> you know, you know, I think I learned so much of anatomy <laughs> yeah. from DBZ, most likely. And just so much of what was playing on SABC 2, bro. So, yeah. Yeah. Besides that, um, what other comics do you look into? Um, there was there was another one. There was another one. I think it was Pex Africa. Like I really liked local. Did you know they were local though at the time? No, I I I knew they were local. That's what drew me. I was like, cause cause it was like everything else wasn't. So this stuck out to me as like okay. Yeah people are saying this is local so I, I'm, I'm now interested it, well, it wasn't it wasn't the greatest compared to the other ones but I was like so this is done here that's what mm. was drawing me so I would really really sit down and watch it and like okay so if these guys can do this I can do something similar yeah. so Pax Africa was also interesting um, I, I, I really sat down for Pax Africa but there were other comics I forget their names man um, I would I would sit down and actually reference them literally side by side draw whatever i saw mm. no creativity well there is some creativity even in in referencing um because you're just like having a spin a spin of your own thing while you're referencing but there's a lot of i'll just go through magazines and find something interesting yeah and from there i'll just develop, develop a library of just random things um so yeah as an artist, when when did the journey start for you? What what's the earliest memory you can recall of like knowing this is what I want to do? Again, with that, it's 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 it's, it's different parts. But the more the the earliest time where I, it was starting to get refined as a thought of this is something, and um, I can really take this further, is actually a little bit of a. A saddish story. Not, it's not that sad, but it's sad. Um, I was working. Um, it was primary school. There was a competition. We had to do like a, we had to draw. It was something about mining. Um, it was something. I think the partners were South Deep or something, and so we were drawing um, Nelson Mandela next to this mining thing. Or maybe that was my concept, but I drew that, and my teacher enjoyed it. She, she thought it was the best in class, and it was a competition. Mm. So there were three winners. I didn't win, but then everybody received their artwork back. I didn't. So for me, I was like, "What happened to my artwork? You guys took this thing." Yeah. You know. So, so now my mind is at a young age. I'm like, I'm, I'm on conspiracy mode. Um, so that's kind of like. It affected me as a child, man, because people won like 250 rand. <laughs> yeah, wow. And I'm like, lot. yo, bro, I don't, what happened? Like, you guys stole my artwork. I wasn't reimbursed from that. It was a little, really a dark time for a kid. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But, but before that whole competition, you know, she was like, yo, your artwork is really, really good. So go to a school that encourages this. She sent me um, places that were quite close to what I enjoyed. So NSA is where I went to. Um, I, well, the first part, I didn't go to NSA. Um, I started off at a different school the first two months or a month. And then I was late in NSA. They accepted me. And so I went to the National School of the Arts yeah. for high school. How was your experience in that school? Man from day one man like the idea of having two periods of school being dedicated to art yeah and then after 
after school is also just more of it. It's I don't know, man. It's something very special, man. Like, cause, 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 what happens? What, what, what I assume happens in other schools that don't kind of cater to this is that that side gets lost. Right? Yeah. That's that's what that's what happens. The the other side of you that is probably creative deteriorates. You know, when you just fall less in love with it because you're not exposed to it. So for me, it was from the moment I walked into those gates, I felt it, man. I was like, yeah. man, everybody's just cool. I'm just looking around and I'm like, everybody has like their little um, art art thing where they house their, their artwork. Yeah. And everybody's just walking around cool. They, they have their sneakers on with uniform. Um, it's just before I even walked in the door, I could feel it. I yeah, could feel it. This I was is like, my world. Oh, there's, these are my people. Yeah. Um, and that's very, that's, that's something really, really, really nice for a kid. Like it's really, it's really something you are able to, you are able to, um, you are able to look back and appreciate yeah, you look back, man, and you look back and you, you, you are thankful for, for that because it's literally the only school like that, yeah. you know? So you, you look back and you're like, man, I'm very lucky. You know, I read the book, um, Outliers, and it's like, it's like a, a moment of luck meeting, um, meeting you. It's, mm. like, it's, like a, it's, like a, it's like a time where it's like, okay, these things exist in a period and you are in here and you are... You are lucky to be in here, but you're also um, fitting to be in here. You are ready for it because, yeah. you know, you are a, the exact person that this moment needs. And not a lot of people experience that. Not a lot of kids have a chance to go to a school that can Bro, also I grew up with this art. artist who we were, while we were drawing Super Strikers, he was better than me. He was better than me, man. Like, he was really good and he was into this thing, but we didn't go to the same school. Yeah. And that deteriorated for him. So I think about that quite a lot. You so know? you have like a, a real example of the difference of how, and the impact. Uh, of, yeah. 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 I have a real example, a sad example of that. If you weren't an artist, what would you be? You think? Or you just never imagined yourself being anything else? Every time I, uh, I think about it, it's already in the art world. I'm already, I'm, I'm a creator by nature. Yeah. Um, if I'm not creating, there's nothing else. So it would be, it wouldn't be painting, it wouldn't be animation, it wouldn't be directing, because that's all what I do right now. It would probably be fashion, but you know what I mean? I'm creating, I'm already in that realm. Yeah. Um, so if I wasn't an artist, I wouldn't be. But at the same time, that's also a, a, a thing I don't like saying, because I don't think it's true. Um, Anyway, we're playing in other realms right yes. now, right? So hypothetically, you know, we are playing in other realms, and I do think I can, if I put my mind into anything, I can really do it. Um, I was interested in science. Unfortunately, I wasn't good at it. Yeah. <laughs> I, but I was interested in it. But you know, I do believe if I was learning science in a different way, I'd be quite um, formidable in that field because I think I have, I can be creative. And it needs somewhat of some creative creativity. Mm. Um, I don't. I don't want to take away from the intellectual side of it and the capacity of just really being in the numbers and being into um, and really being academically well equipped. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm really interested in the in that world. You know, um, the world of science, the world of technology. I'm a big. I'm big on technology. Um, so. Yeah, uh, the idea that I wouldn't be an artist. I think an artist is a scientist as well. You know, there's, there's. I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna blur the lines too much, but I want us to acknowledge that there is a creativity, a very deep level of creativity. Once you, 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 you're thinking about these concepts. Mm. Um, so yeah, I don't wanna blur the lines and just go like, oh, everything is, yeah, is art. But I wanna, I wanna say that my artistic ability can really stretch. 
um, to, to, to and, and, and that's for everybody. Like, mm. if you recognize that your artistic ability is not just within your hand and brush strokes and just hand to canvas, you, there's more to it, you know. Yeah. You are, you are, Jesus, I'm sounding like a chakra hunt. <laughs> um, you are infinite. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you could go back in time to when you were starting out, what advice would you give yourself? When you had just started out this career, I wouldn't give myself any advice, bro. I'd be like, keep going. I wouldn't want to your touch thing. your journey. Um, no. Uh, hmm. I would give someone else advice. That's a good question, man. You know, like it's like back to the science thing. I don't want to go back and, and hinder his journey. Mm. But I'm very sensitive about his journey, you know. I don't want to go back and hinder his journey. But in the in the in the, in the kind of like um, kind of surface, um, he's. I would probably. I wouldn't tell that guy shit, man. <laughs> Plain and simple. Yeah, I think he was onto something. He was onto something, and he still is. Mm. Yeah. Um, what advice would you give to an artist who's trying to tap into that, to that knowing of like, you know what, there's nothing I would change, I'm sure, about my journey. <laughs> there's an arrogance to it. That's why I don't want to commit to that answer. But it's, <laughs> it's, it's true, man. Like, it's, it's true. Like, um, you got to know, you know, you just have to have to know. Like, um, my parents weren't convinced, you know, you yeah. know. A lot of people around me weren't convinced, um, but they saw how I was in it. So that, 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 when they look at you and they see that you're unmoved, it's hard for them to even counter you. You know, it's like you're unmoved. You are, yeah. you are really in this world. You are practicing. That's really important because you can't just be in this world. And, you know, you have to really be what this moment requires and it needs you to practice it needs you to be good mm. um and so I, I i had put in all of those things so i had acknowledged that i had to practice i acknowledged that i i have to continuously be better um better than my surroundings better than anyone around me you mm. know um in terms of just the work ethic i'm putting um and that's still that's still there you know um it's always been me though it's always been just like I'm, I'm working on me you know the mm. more i do this i'm working on me i'm building a couple of bricks on to my to my skill set to to who i am um because there's a in, in this world there's minimal separation to just who i am as a person and what i do it's really really closely linked mm. um so what i would tell people is that if you really feel that draw to something that's what uh, that's those are the first signs those are the first signs that man grab this with both hands there's a few of these things that you will feel really compelled to um do this deeply so mm. grab it with both hands and take care of it take care of it with um acknowledging it being better at it studying it studying people who have done it um and and from there there's minimal error there's mm. minimal you are reducing the amount of error around it, you know, study it, make sure you know the ins and outs of it. Um, and, and, and for sure, you'll look back and you wouldn't want to change a thing as well. Um, yeah. How did you get that mindset? How did you start thinking like that? Did you have any role models or, mm. or a lot of self-introspection at a very young age? Hey, you guys are going in. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, no, I love it. I love it. Um, um, I hope you don't guys, you don't mind the pauses. This is not no, a no, podcast. No. Yeah. Um, I, I really have to think deeply about these. Um, when did I know, man? When who was it? It's um, it's a lot of things as well. It's like um, but I want to pin it, I want to pin it to 
I had, I had, I had, I had, I had good, I had a good upbringing. Um, I had a good upbringing, a home where I was encouraged um, to create, um, and they, they, they encouraged both. I had to be really good at school. I had to really be good at school. I had to read. I had to do all these other things, you know. Um, but they never, they never neglected my artistic side. Mm. Um, my dad was quite stern on everything else other than art, but I really understood that, and he, he, he was necessary for that. You know, he was necessary for, for building other parts of me that isn't just artistic. You know, there's a whole business to this, and my, my dad was all about that. My parents were a big part in terms of um, being encouraging, um, and so the mentality. The mentality came. Man, that's a really good question. We'll come back to that one. No, we'll, really. we'll come back to that one. Um, but while I'm searching for it, it's it's. I'm built this way, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm built different. Um, no, but I I do think I think I think once you find it, right? I think once you you find that thing. Um, it's just so compelling. It's just so mm. compelling that it it, it, it it takes over. It takes over. You need to be um, present for it. Um, um, it's just it's 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 compelling enough for me to just drop everything and really focus on this and and really make this work. And you know, um, I come from a background. I come from Soweto, so it's a, it's a it's a harsh background. So I had to. That that was was also a motivation. I can't, mm. I can't remove that. It was a motivation to, to really be great. Yeah. Um, the idea of, um, I'm finding it by the way. Um, mm. I'm, it's the idea that I had to be a, a, a master of the skill. Um, and so I, 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 I'm, I mastered that skill. Uh, not, not mastered in that skill, but I, I, I was good enough. Um, so I always wanted to be really good. So I spent time on it. Um, yeah, it's the idea of just wanting to be good. Mm. Um, so yeah. when you say your family and environment kind of gave you that sort of mentality of wanting to go hard. Yeah, that's definitely my environment was, is one of the factors that really pushed me. Mm. Um, pushed me and like, I really want to change my life and I want to change the lives of people around me. That was yeah. a big motivation. So um, it's, it's responsibility. Yeah, it was was a big motivation. Shaped like, you. Yeah, did you get that responsibility like at an early age, or was it just when you were starting to? I was like aware of it. I was aware of responsibility. Um, luckily, you know, my parents freed me of responsibility where it's crippling and it's taking away from my from my journey. Because sometimes you can cripple somebody with something that, you know, it, uh, it's hard to say. It's hard to say, but my, 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 my parents gave me room to, to, to explore something I, I was really passionate about, but then they really made it clear that um, what I'm doing it for is, is, more than, is more than me. It's more than, it's more than, it's actually more than them. It's more than my family. It's, it's for, it's, 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 they made that clear. Mm. So, um, that 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 responsibility is big you know to go like man you will, you'll be taking care of your your peers you'll be taking care and in the sense that if they are watching you are they getting life mm. are they getting something that that builds them and that's a big responsibility right because you are now you are now aware that people are watching um and and you could be you could be a good reference. Mm. I had a good reference from my parents. Um, so if people are watching, you could now be a good reference or you could not be. And as a kid, it's just like, man, that's, that's too much. Mm. Um, I really want to be a good reference. And, and I, 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 try, I try from time to time to practice and um, understand that, you know, I can, I'm, 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 I can be myself, and, but myself has to be something that breathes life into this world and doesn't take away from it. It, yeah. it really adds value and it creates um, 
um, it creates something that someone can look at and, I, and can be proud that I want to be that. Mm. You know, I so want to be able, able to car- encourage people to be like me. Mm. You know, because I do think I've worked hard to be somewhat um, um, good at something um, and good at at being me. Mm. Um, and and and, and they, being being like me in the sense that they are being like them, you know, like I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm it's just be true to yourself and express um, it and express it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, what are the challenges you you faced along this journey till this point? What are the challenges in the faced, industry? Yeah. Mm. Like, so so. The, the, the first challenge is just school, couldn't afford school. NSA, I couldn't afford NSA, man. Um, I, think while, I think while I was graduating, I was owing money still. And I went to another school that was quite expensive. Um, and um, luckily there, I had applied to, to get um, um, funding. And shout out, to, shout out to the NABF for that, man. They, they, they pulled through. Um, yeah, uh, so from get th- those were the immediate obstacles, um, mm. and then I studied um, animation, and then I dropped out. So I'm sorry, NBF, um, <laughs> but um, you know they understand. Um, <laughs> so that 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 was my challenge. Uh, that was our challenge growing up. Is just like. Um, the monetary thing to can give you opportunities and move around the world mm. um, yeah and then now in the industry the animation world is great I love it but there's challenges in terms of like you know the shows get picked up and they get dropped um, that's the nature of it you know mm. but you know I'm here for the long haul I like creating I like I like making stories I like um, I like bringing things to life so yeah, I'm here for for the long haul for sure. Mm. Was becoming an F- NFT artist also part of those challenges, and in what sense? Mm. So yeah, becoming an NFT artist is kind of like. It's also it's a, it's like a, it's like an answer to the challenges um, because what it attempts to do is is bring bring power to the creator. Um, it, 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 it's bringing control to the creator, and um, you know it's still early, but the the idea of the tech behind NFT is the potential what it can do for artists. It's not there yet, not even remotely, um, mm. but the potential it can do for the artist, man, it's infinite you get to really um have this trustless system which is the bedrock of it like the trustless system where it's not a person it's not a institution it's just an a, a program that is just like when this happens that happens and that's that's something that is very very powerful because you 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 put your work up there and it, it protects you for for forever mm. um you know somebody buys it um, it's, you can track it, you can see where it's going, you can see the journey, you can, you can, when somebody else buys it, you can get a part of it still, you know? Um, so that is protecting you for, for a lifetime and creators, man, the creators need that. Mm. Um, we need that to keep creating and making this world beautiful. Um, you know, it's, we're unstoppable, you know, but you don't want to take advantage of that. You want to. You want to also create means that expand the artist and not keep having him face hurdles mm. um, because you know hurdles can bring beauty but um, capital can bring evolution can bring uh, uh, um, more creativity it mm. breeds more creativity and we need that we need that when would you say you experienced your first breakthrough um, that first sale or that first um role model when i lost that competition in primary school (laughs) (laughs) that was a long time back no 
Um, the breakthrough. The breakthrough. Um, when did I experience? I think I think it was a it was a very challenging time for me. The the breakthrough was a very challenging time. It was it, 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 it's when I had to drop out. Um, it's when I had to drop out of school. Um, I had an opportunity to start working. I had a, an opportunity to start working on um, animated films, um, and so I had like six months left into my third year degree, and I dropped out. Mm. Um, so that was tough. That that was like, how do I convince my parents that I'm ready for this world and I'm done with the old world? You know, I'm, I'm done with school. This is I'm ready for this. Um, and that was a that was a challenge, but it was also in hindsight a breakthrough. Um, I got to work in a very I worked at the printer forms. Um, it was such a small, intimate, intimate group of artists creating um, shows, um, animated shows, and, and and the value, the the big value in a small, intimate team is that you are taking care of a lot you are the the, the responsibility you have more responsibility mm. in an intimate team um, you are you are art director you are you are editing videos you're doing a lot just um in that small little team and you're you're learning at a very 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 fast rate um because you're now learning different parts and you have to be um you have to be quite good so you're mm. studying you're making sure that um, you are good at this, and after 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 work, you'd you'd feel like you know there's not enough hours in the day, and so you'd put in more hours after work. Um, so those those things where I wasn't complacent, I was I, I I acknowledged that the team needs things done, and there's no one else. You know, there's a small team, so all of us are quite um, we're carrying quite a big load. Um, and so that, that was a good lesson for me that an intimate team while you're studying art and carrying as much as you can and, 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 and really carrying much as you can, like it doesn't matter, it's not about money. You're exploring yourself right now, mm. you're young, you're exploring yourself, you're exploring your limits, um, you're exploring your creative limits, you are, you are, you are accelerating your growth. Um, and that was a very important time. So. Um, yeah, I'm very grateful for that. Mm. So that was my my true breakthrough is when I uh, I, I dropped out and I, um, I, I I pursued. Yeah, this, this sounds animation. like your challenges drive you a lot. Like, yeah, they, they do. They're a big factor in what drives you to become better. Yeah, um, I think I think challenges. That's what that's what you. You 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 want to not shy away from. You wanna you wanna face the challenges. You wanna you wanna be present for the challenges. You wanna also know that when a when a challenge comes, you're dangerous enough, or you are mm. um, you are you are strong enough. You are powerful enough to stand it. And 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 it's very interesting. I actually love that question because I've always found it weird that every time a challenge comes through, I I it's like I I embrace it. And oh, not only and it's a hard thing to to. I embrace them. I embrace them, and uh, I when I fail, sometimes that this might be a bad thing. Sometimes when I when I fail at something, I completely ignore it. I keep moving. I just keep moving. Um, you know, I, I ignore it. I, I acknowledge that it happened. I try to make different changes, but I don't. I don't really look at it. Like mm. I glance at it, I'm like, oh, I can't even look at that failure. Sometimes I cringe when I look at failures. So, um, and it's it's a cringe that it's like I'm acknowledging it. I'm not running away from it. I'm I'm just gonna glance at it and just keep moving. Yeah, yeah you know just what I mean. Get up and go. Yeah, I'm mm. just gonna glance and just keep moving because I I I don't I'm not a big fan of stopping. I'm just like mm. let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's acknowledge the things that we 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 messed up and let's keep going, 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 going. Um, so yeah, challenges are big, a big drive for mm. sure. And besides the challenges, what what other things drive you? If you take away the challenge part of it, yeah, what else drives you? Let's say you woke up and you didn't have any challenge anymore. 
what would you say would, would be that thing that still drives you to do what you want to do? Yo, that's almost paradoxical to me, man. <laughs> like, um, if I didn't have a challenge, I would find one. <laughs> I would find one, man. Yeah. Like, I, I, I have to find it. I have to find a problem to fix. Um, and there's a lot of problems to fix, you know? So, good for me, you know? Mm. These are some big Especially things. in this country. Yeah, man, there's, there's a lot of problems to fix, whether it's internally, whether it's outside. Um, there's, there's, I wouldn't say there's anything other than um, a challenge um, that I have to... There's different parts, you know. I one day want a family, so I want a, a somewhat of a nice roof over them, not just a roof, a really mm. nice roof. So that's another thing that kind of inspires me. Um, I'm a like of things, I like technology, I like things that can um, accelerate my growth. So those things are expensive. That's a nice thing to mm. kind of work towards. Like, man, I like tools. I like good tools. So I work hard to provide myself with good tools. That's a nice motivation. Um, I like sneakers. Um, that's a nice motivation. Mm. Um, <laughs> um, you know, there's, 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 there's things that are that are, are small, but I do acknowledge that, you know, they add to the fuel. Yeah. Um, you know, it's not just about, you know, I want to, um, cause I do, I definitely want to create more, um, a space that, 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 that creatives can really be part of and, and accelerate their growth. Yeah. That, that, that's something I'm, while I'm doing this, it's like that, that the saying of lift while you rise. Mm. Um, that's 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 a good one for me. That 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 allows me to just like give people, um, teach them or something. Um, that for me is also a, a good motivation. It's a mm. good challenge. It's a good responsibility to to, to carry because, man. Um, people who believed in, believed in me in my journey have really changed my life. So I want to be that person for somebody else. Mm. Yeah. From animation to a traditional painter, which one do you prefer the most? Jesus, I can't choose. You can't. I won't what choose. if you had a gun in your head? Hmm? Gun in your head right now. You had. You could only do one. Yo, um, man, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, these are both like, like I'm lucky for this, right? Like these are both art forms that are put high up in, in terms of any art form. You know, it's, it's, it's painting. It's animation or it's animation or painting and then music, you know what I mean? Like that's how high I put it mm. or, you know, but, but animation and film making are just kind of the same almost for me because it's, it's film. Um, but that's how much high I put it. It's just like, it's a very powerful thing. Um, but I would have to say animation. Oh. <laughs> Bro, I don't have a gun to my head. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, besides those two things, what else do you do um, yeah. in the art space? So, what we what we do, we have like uh, my, myself and um, um, Panda, Smiley Susbaya. We have a, um, a an initiative called Gussy Sketchbook. I was mentioning later uh, earlier about um, lifting as you rise. Mm. We have an initiative called Cassie Sketchbooks where we invite people to kind of draw with us and introduce them to this field of animation and the art world. Um, and, you know, we go to different clubs. Well, different, it's called um, the, the Cassie Sketchbook Club. So the idea is to build clubs around the Soweto community or any community that encourages kids to, to draw. So we give out like sketchbooks and um, we sit down with them and there's mentors that teach them how to really now start practicing and getting ready for um, drawing. And 
practicing in terms of like anatomy um, and getting them introduced into this world of animation because a lot of them is just like you need an introduction and mm. then that thing has sparked and sometimes others it's not just that spark you need to carry them through um, and really show them the ropes um, and we invite parents as well because they are a part of it that you really need need it you know they need to understand it so they can encourage mm. their kids um, so that's what we do on the on the other side but it's still art yeah um, on the entrepreneurial side yeah the art the art is part of it like yeah. you know, art is entrepreneurial you know it's it's the idea that you this is your IP mm. um, and so we, in the animation side we are working myself and, and, and Smang as well we are, have a company called Tribal Universe where we create and we develop um, visuals for stories and we create stories as well um, but we are more visually inclined so we create visuals and so we build people's bibles and we can come with story and we can build it in terms of like preparing a bible and the visuals and developing the world mm. um, so that's um, that's we want to be showrunners because we're currently directing um, a Disney a Disney short. We're, well, we're both directing Disney shorts. Wow! Um, so that's that's another part breakthrough. Of it. That's another. For sure. That's <laughs> yeah. another breakthrough for sure. Really, really, really appreciative of that opportunity um, provided by the guys in Cape Town, Triggerfish. Mm. Um, so it's really, it's really, really, you know, a step in and kind of showcasing your director the directorial skills um, and that's really good and and, and and back to back to the entrepreneurial side you know we want we are we are showrunners and we want to develop that um, even further so we, we we are creating stories and we are pitching them and we're going uh, we we're recently in um, France for the NSC festival mm. and that this is where we you know where everyone meets who, people who enjoy animation, the creators of animation, um, the people who publish and house house these um, films and streaming mm. services. So this is where we meet and we share ideas and we share um, these creative stories and you know we pitch them and hopefully one gets picked up and so you are on this journey where you are now infusing um, your voice into the world mm. in an animation medium. Um, and, you know, we are slowly building that where we have an, an African um, inspired kind of cool shows that are us um, and that's slowly coming up. Mm. Yeah. How are you getting these opportunities? Because I can imagine if I'm an artist, that's what I want to know. How are you putting yourself in, in that space where you can get an opportunity to work yeah. with Netflix or go overseas? Yeah, um, First, fir firstly is... For me, it was social media. I had to put myself out there. Mm. Um, you, you, a lot of artists kind of sometimes can protect the, but these are younger artists where they really closely protect their artwork um, and they don't want to show them, but don't hide value, put value out there so it can be received, you know? Mm. So I've always been putting work out there. For the longest time, I just, I was just drawing, drawing and practicing, practicing right in front of you guys stumbling and having bad drawings out there in the world um, but i kept on getting better um, and the more i kept on getting better the more people started seeing um, and one day the right person saw it mm. um, so that's 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 the first thing um, i would I, I, I would say and and um, to take it further really have a community of artists look around and look at, at the people who who are already doing the things that you uh, you want to do um, get closer to them learn from them and really have a community where you wake up and these guys are already doing what you're doing and so you are ready in this world you are immersed in this world you live and breathe what you really want and mm. so it becomes it becomes easier to be considered for an opportunity because you're right next to it mm. um, so yeah um, sometimes you know artists can be in their space but it's good to to be in your space and also have your community within your space. We, we all of you be lonely together, you know. Mm. Um, but while building towards a bigger thing, mm. um, 
that's that, that's a good that's a that's that's the best way I could say I've, uh, that has been a great anchor for opportunities and inviting um, inviting opportunities that are quite fruitful. Mm. And what's the best and worst advice you've ever received? Let's start off maybe with the best. The best advice. The best advice. The best advice. The best advice. Dig deep. Dig deep. And that's like, it's very, it's very surface, but it's like, it's something that keeps coming to, to my mind. It's like, dig deep or dig deeper, you know? And it's the idea that you know what you're capable of, right? And sometimes you'll just do something. You'll just present it. But it wasn't your best. Mm. And your best is scary. I get it. I understand. Your best is scary, man. When you, when you think about it, when you sit down deeply and you, 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 you start imagining what you, uh, you can possibly do, that is scary to just wake up and go like, I'm going to do that thing that I just faced. You know, I, I sat down and I really understood it. I, 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 I saw what amount of work it takes to get there. I know what it takes to do something this beautiful or something this big. And to wake up in the morning and go like, I'm going to do it. That's very, very hard. Mm. Um, but you, you have to dig deep. You have to dig deep, man. Like, you can't, you can't be mediocre, you know. Um, and, you know, you guys... Um, you know, are you attempting to go to that pace mm. where you are the the scariest thing is having a network and you guys are running things. I mean, that's scary, but you guys have to wake up and do a thing one step at a time. Mm. Um, and, um, you, you know, you don't have to see it as like, oh, we're going to a network. We, we're just going to an artist and we're going to interview him and we're building something, you know, we're building something bigger. But it's understanding that the end goal is to have a big ass network mm. and well, things running and there's like there's content um and that's how i approach it i dig deep i whether it's an artistic piece i will not do something mediocre i will dig deep to find something special mm. um that's the best advice then the worst i'm quite optimistic man i'm i'm, I'm very optimistic I'm very, very optimistic. I don't know. I, I can't have that advice. Um, well, I, I can't follow it. Or, you know, I I see bad advice and I see the intention behind it. Yeah. And I'm like, that, that's good advice. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm quite optimistic. Um, maybe to my detriment, but I love it. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't see bad advice unless somebody is being malicious which is not advice at all okay to go just left with like two questions cool actually no well let's go <laughs> yeah um let me just okay next question how has your style changed over time yeah, my style has evolved over time, man. Like, um, it has evolved quite a bit. Um, I, 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 I explore. I, one thing I really enjoy about what I do is that I explore. And sometimes I explore to a point where, you know, things are different from the old things I was doing. But if you look closely, you'll find it. You'll track it and you'll connect it. Um, but, man, I, I, I really 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 explore and you know every time i explore i find something new that i carry through to the next and carry through to the next and uh, i i like doing that i like i like i like the idea of building a, a library of styles and library of techniques um and a library of approaches that build up to a really beautiful piece mm. um i really really enjoy that and i i, I don't see it as a as a destination i will not have a, a, I'm, i don't see it happening but i don't think i'll have a a style that is like stationary or yeah like 
that that doesn't evolve mm. um, my style always carries through and becomes more and more and more and more and more and that's probably my style something that evolves and mm. something that keeps growing um, and something that you can kind of connect dots and trace it and trace it and trace it and you, you see its ev evolution mm. um, I don't want to be trapped in that world where I'm doing a thing that looks the same um, I want to do the thing that looks the same but enhanced and looks better than the before and has new elements and keeps having new elements um and i love that i i i, I that's that's where i really get excited mm. yeah and what would you consider your your dream project Ooh, my dream project my dream project Man, I've thought of many. Um, I do want to create an animated film. Um, I do want to create an animated film that is incorporates my painting. Mm. An animated film that incorporates my 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 learnings over the years. Um, an entry, you know, an animated film that really has all the elements that I was talking about of the things that I've explored and I apply them in this big ass animation form about life um that's 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 a really good project um but once i've done that that wouldn't be the end um you know that wouldn't be the end the idea is to keep creating and fueling something to create the bigger thing so once that's the bigger thing there will be another bigger mm. thing it's and never ending it's never ending and i really want to um while i'm here really really create some something mind-blowing and special mm. yeah and how would you define success as an artist is thriving 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 in your truth you know mm. thriving in your truth thriving in thriving in your in yourself like you are you've you've mastered somewhat like mastered your skill mastering your skill you're on your journey because that never ends um you are honest in your work you are trying your best at least to be honest in your work um and whatever honesty is you know like whatever inspiration you need just being honest to it um You, are loving, you know. You gotta be, gotta be, gotta have love. That's nice. That's that's success. Mm. Yeah, you gotta have love for the thing you, you you do. You gotta keep making beautiful things, and mm. whatever beauty is to you, just gotta keep loving, making beautiful things, and that kind of translates out into the world. After you've made a beautiful thing. You are able to go outside and attract beautiful things, attract beautiful people, um, have beautiful conversations, have a beautiful life. Mm. Yeah. And the money? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows I was waiting for that part. The money is beautiful, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the beauty. It's part of the beauty, you know. But you know, it. Why it can't be an anchor is that it's definitely money. You know, it's definitely money because. We, money is the thing that can 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 keep evolving you but at the same time without the thing if you don't make beautiful things there's no money so that's why i focus on the beautiful things mm, um, and then attract it, the money yeah you know you attract the money um but the beautiful things is what brings the things around then mm. probably don't need um you need opportunities more than money money is the thing that gives you opportunities if somebody offered you money or an opportunity you wouldn't choose money you choose the opportunity Chen, yeah. you know what i mean so it's mm. not really money um it's 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 it's, a, it's opportunity mm. yeah uh, well said where do you see yourself in the future superhero president <laughs> <laughs> where do i see myself you can in the go future? as crazy as you want yeah i mean i can't 
can go as crazy as I want because this is already crazy. Mm. Um, you know, this is already crazy to come from where I am, from where I'm from, and just doing what I love is very crazy. Um, so, yeah, I want to change the world for the best. Mm. Change is wild. I want to move towards a better world and I want to be part of that movement. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Plain and simple. Um, any words of inspiration? I think we've already covered that. Um, if the world ends today, which superhero character would you turn into to save the world? Since you want to change the world. Oof. Superhero character. Can't say me. No, like, I didn't. You. <laughs> <laughs> you. Oh. <laughs> um, superhero character. There's many. Allow me. Allow me mm. to just go through a library. Um, a lot of good ones. Hmm? There's a lot of good ones out there. There's a lot of good ones, man. But I'll, I'll just go for my childhood favorite. No, I won't. Um, these are nice questions. Nice questions make me sit down and waste your time, by the way. <laughs> and Before waste us. his memory. <laughs> um, so, I'd probably be, I'd probably be Miles, Miles Morales. Really? That's quite new. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be Miles, Miles Morales. I like him, I like him, I like him, I like him. I can relate to him, you mm. know, I like him. I think a lot of people can relate to him. Um, he's the closest superhero that I have that kind of shares a similar story to yeah. me. Um, um, he's trying, man, he's trying. Mm. He's trying to be the best version he can be. Um, he's mm. learning. That's quite interesting. I thought you would have went for, you know, one of the old, the old ones we grew up like watching. I mean, there's nothing there, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that wraps up the questions.